Right now, we're out here doing some winter camping and filming. The reindeer in winter landscape. I've been interested in photography for a really long time, and I've been fortunate to be able to travel and take pictures and film in some pretty awesome places. What happens inside here wouldn't actually be possible without an understanding of the physics of light. And understanding it could help you in your camera work. So let's talk about the lens. I always bring two lenses. This here is my telephoto lens or my long lens. And here is my camera with my wide angle lens on. The basics behind these camera lenses are pretty much the same. Inside they have convex glass lenses, kind of like a magnifying glass. In short, the purpose of the camera lens is to form a real image of the object that we want to take a picture of on the camera sensor. A more convex lens results in a wider angle and a short focal length. A telephoto camera lens has a flatter glass lens and the focal length is longer. As a filmmaker, you want to get both types of shots. It's really cool to tell the story by getting really close to the animals and you want to get a wide shot that really shows you, you know, the scenery and how beautiful it is. But you don't always get what you want. It's a really painful experience when you get home and you go through your pictures and you find ones that would have been awesome but they were out of focus. When we're focusing, we're moving the camera lens closer or farther away from the camera sensor to find that sweet spot where it's sharp. Well, anything in front or behind of the object that we have to focus will be blurry. But in the camera, we can actually adjust for the focus distance a little by restricting the angles of light entering the lens. And we do that by changing the aperture in the camera. This makes our so-called depth of field greater and more things will be in focus, but it also limits the amount of light going through to the sensor. Remember how I said that the camera lens is not just one single glass lens? The multiple glass lenses inside of here gives us much more options uh, when they work together than if we just had one lens. For example, these are uh, zoom lenses and the zoom allows me to move lens elements back and forth. And what I'm doing then is actually adjusting the focal length or the magnification power, if you wish, of the lens. Another important reason for the compound lens is to correct for warping effects like chromatic aberration, which means that different colors of light refract at slightly different angles when going through just one glass lens. And finally, when I look through the viewfinder, a mirror reflects the light through the lens up to my eye, and what I see is the actual image coming through the lens. All right, that's it, the basics. Now it's your turn. Go out and try it. Good luck. <laughs> 